Hey YouTube modeling community, um, welcome back to another video here on exactly scale models. Uh, it's been a minute since I uploaded, I've been building a lot, I just haven't recorded anything, but I'm getting out the 68 El Camino that I did a, uh, it's, I don't know how long ago it was. Uh, this is the AMT kit, so as you'd expect with any AMT kit. Uh, it wasn't quite perfect. It had a couple minor issues. Overall, it went together pretty well. Better than the 53 Corvette kit does. Um, this one I did do all the spinning wheels on it. Let's see. It's purple, which is a bit of an unconventional color. We've got the black back here with stripes all around. I just did the, or the trim, rather. Just did all the trim on this one with a tester's metallic silver. And then threw a gloss coat over the whole thing. Did a vinyl top on it using masking tape that I had painted black. I painted it flat black, but obviously threw the clear coat over the whole thing once it was all done. Uh, the paint came out pretty nice, I think. It's, once again, just testers rattle cans. That's really all I use. Unless I brush paint the things, which I don't very often anymore. Uh, we got the... Hood stripes, those are from a those are from the Ravel 69 Camaro kit, and I had to extend them a little bit to fit the El Camino hood. Not a whole lot going on here, didn't do anything underneath. Uh, but this is an SS 396. If you saw the badging when I was rotating it around. Got a nice big fingerprint right in the intake, or right on the air filter, and everywhere else in there. Did some wiring on this one, just using some really thin copper wire that I painted yellow. Not a whole lot going on in there, if the camera would ever focus. It's air condition, power steering, power brakes, everything is all optioned up on this thing. Got a nice gray interior with a little bit of chrome and some black. You can actually see in this one, so and try to give you a different angle on it. Oh, well, so much for actually seeing into this one. It's pretty dark over there. But, there's not much to it up in there. It's everything from the box, really. Underneath, everything is... It all went together actually decently. I had a tiny alignment issue with the rear end. And that was my bad, because I just kind of rushed the assembly in. Then left it sit without making sure it was right. And up here we got a whole lot of not much. Cut the exhaust right before the rear end because I've been in the habit of putting the rear end in before I put the exhaust in. And then you can't force it up under the rear end between the underside of the body. I've, I've done that with a lot of cars. Sometimes I just go with side pipes or just dump the headers right out, but I've decided if I'm going to do it wrong, I might as well have at least most of the exhaust in the car, but that's really about all there is to this one. Um, it was a pretty good kit. I liked it. Um, I'd do a couple things different. I'd probably make sure that, the, that I didn't have a bunch of little debris in the paint because there's a few tiny black spots and some dust from just leaving it out while I was working on other spots. But I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, if you got any requests for kits or anything, any ideas, uh, just let me know. I'll see you in the next video.